Uh, ladies and gentlemen, before I bring on our featured speaker today, I just want to mention that uh, the title of this call is how she went from uh, Team Cup to Team Leader. So we've been talking a lot about Team Cup. You're still in the month of registration for Team Cup, which is our February competition. And that uh, boosted her to go from Team Cup to Team Leader. Um, and she's also a two-star diamond coach. I want to talk a little bit about our speaker. Yeah, she's a two-star diamond coach. She is, she ended the year strong as a team leader and she has achieved Success Club 14 months uh, straight in a row. She's a newer coach because she's been around about a year and a couple months. So ladies and gentlemen from Aurora, Colorado, Allison Hendrickson, come on in Allison. Hi, <laughs> Oh, you look great, all sunny and bright. Oh, thank you. It looks like days of sunshine. Well, so, thank you for uh, waiting for that. And I want everybody to get to know you a little better. So why don't you talk about uh, starting about a year and two months ago, uh, what brought you to Beachbody? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, Sandy. Um, well, actually, I found coaching when I desperately needed a change, um, like so many of us. I actually come from a bodybuilding background. So after I had baby number two, I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's disease. And so my thyroid died and my body just wasn't responding to what worked for me in the past. And so I was looking for something. And when my coach sent me a few videos about the coaching opportunity, it wasn't until the third video that mentioned anything about Beachbody. And I honestly thought that I clicked on the wrong video. <laughs> I X out of the video and I clicked on the link again. And sure enough, it was Beachbody. And I'll be totally honest, I was super judgmental because I was comparing my previous style of two plus hours in the gym and eating chicken and broccoli every three hours of a bodybuilding style to 30 minutes a day at home workouts with a healthy balanced diet. You really couldn't get much different than that. But I sat in front of my computer and I said to myself, I might have actually said it out loud. I said to myself, Allison, you were looking for something different and this is different. And the thing is, I was failing at the two plus hours a day. I wasn't doing it very often. I worked full time on a corporate finance career and it brought me no joy. And my kiddos were in daycare 10 plus hours a day. So the thought of picking them up and taking them to the gym and putting them in another daycare was just something that I wasn't willing to do anymore. So I just was just failing. And I've always had this desire to help people. And I felt like this coaching opportunity was a way for me to do that. But I had kind of lost like my confidence in myself because my consistency had fallen off. And I had serious doubts that anybody would want to be inspired by me or coached by me. But my coach poured belief into me. And my husband was incredibly supportive. So I decided to dive in. I um, I was just taking a note here, Allison, because sometimes helping others is easier than helping yourself. And I think from you helping other people, you gained that confidence to want to do this because because I don't think people come to this business wanting to help others. I think that they first want to help themselves. But it's that first person that you help that gives you the confidence to move on. I, I love that. Thank you for sharing that story. And, and also that you were uh, a, you had a bodybuilding background. So you had some idea of um, good nutrition and the discipline of working out. So take us now to um, uh, when you started hearing about Team Cup, which was last year's Team Cup in February, right? It was 2020. Yeah. Uh, take us through that, how you heard about it and, and what happened from there. Yeah, so it's kind of crazy because just this time last year, I started hearing about Team Cup from my upline. And right before, right after that, I heard about it on the National Wake Up Call. So it sounded really good to me. It's like something I needed to get myself out of my comfort zone and set the tone for my business. And I was lucky enough um, to learn how to do Team Cup right because just three months into coaching, my coach invited me to be on her Team Cup team. So I was able to learn from a top coach in the network that Team Cup can be a magic pill. Like it lights a fire and provides the gasoline. Like 
the excitement that's given to us about Team Cup is a gift. I don't know if you guys saw Keyshawn on the call last week, but it was fire. She, she had me so excited. And that is just given to us. We don't have to create the excitement. And the other thing is tools. So Beachbody just gives us the tools to make it happen. And all I had to do was step up as a leader and find a, like a fun, positive, hardworking crew and get to work. You know, I was looking at the website, teambeachbodycup.com, and it doesn't say on there what you do for Team Cup because it's exactly what you do as a Team Beachbody coach, only more intensified and with the team. So I want to go into inviting because I know that you ramped up your inviting, and that's usually where people find their struggle is with inviting. Um and I want you to describe also what does inviting look like? Is it like this formal big invitation? You are cordially invited to join my group or what kind of conversations are you having? So talk about inviting and planting seeds. Yeah. So because I learned I had such a great experience in February and I learned what needed to be done ahead of time, my team cup um, that I set up for August, we started working on non-negotiable number of invites the month of July to plant seeds. So right now, before February, we were doing that in July before August. And struggle, the like the struggle is real for invites for me. I will admit, like both quantity, the number of invites and the consistency. If I sent five invites a day, I would check the box on my tracker. And I knew that I wanted to 10 times my average. And so I committed to 50 invites a day for 14 days. And an invite for me is like a personal message to someone either on Facebook, who's a friend of mine, or who follows me on Instagram. That's what an invite is to me. It's not super formal. It's like a starting a conversation. And so I'm starting those conversations. And it was hard work. It was so far out of my comfort zone, but it paid off. It created like excitement and it started these important conversations that I needed to have for August. And when I sent 50, I usually got, I'm a numbers nerd. So I usually got about 10% interested reply, which meant out of 50, I would have five solid conversations going. So that was pretty much my average that I had going with all of my invites. So 50 usually makes people's um, heads explode. Yeah. So I want to rephrase that. It's not invites. It's actually touch points. Yes. Because what you are doing is you are letting people know that you're there and you're keeping conversations going. You're keeping it active. So when we say invite, if people, people are hearing invite 50 people a day, what you're really doing um, are communication touch points, which if you're ever searching for anything on the Internet, you're probably going to 50 websites in an hour if you're quick and you are <laughs> looking for something. Same thing with inviting. You're planting seeds. You're yes. talking to people. So I just wanted to lay that over what you're saying because when we 10x things, it can sound overwhelming. But really, in reality, if you're if you're on a Team Cup team, the adrenaline is there. The desire to help more people is there. So let's talk about recognition because you you said that that was also a big driver. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's my favorite. So to kick off team cup, I focused on one of my favorite parts about coaching, which is celebrating my people. There is a reason why recognition is such a big part of Beachbody's vital behaviors. And I feel like when I highlight my challengers and my coaches successes and accomplishments on social media, it not only benefits them, it plants like, why not me seeds with people that are following me. And it shows them that people just like them, can do hard things and have success. So on August 1st, like kicking off Team Cup, I had a huge celebration for one of my challengers. Her name is Tanya and she just finished MM100. So I ordered giant 100 balloons, 100, and I gathered my kiddos and another team member and we surprised her at her house. And we screamed happy 100 when she answered the door and we like cried tears of happiness. And I shared that video and pictures on social for everyone to see. And like, just to kind of see that she can do a hundred workouts in a row. And 
what was possible for them. And the post had the most traction, like likes, shares, comments, all of that than anything I've ever posted. And I feel like it creates FOMO for people following me and shows them what kind of coach I am and also plants those really, really important why not me seeds. That's perfect. So it's like your love language. You were so proud of her, which is what a coach does, is encouraging that behavior. So um, that recognition was a big driver for you. And then you also said that it helps build those relationships. People get to see who you are as a coach. So then free groups, talk about what they are, how they work for you, and how that helped you in your first big year of coaching. Yeah, so I love free groups. And so with Team Cup, the next thing I did is I focused on pouring into a free group. A free group for me can be a focus on anything and it's open to anyone. It doesn't have to be related to Beachbody specifically. So I use this as a tool to like build relationships and kind of trust with people and they can see how I interact with them on a daily basis. And I just feel like it's a really good way for them to feel safe and confident that I'm their advocate and what I, how I reach out to my people on a free group versus my challenge group. And then at the end, I will reach out to them individually and invite them to my challenge group. So a free group, just for examples, can for me, can be anything. It can be clean holiday recipes or let's build a vision board or five days of body weight exercises. And so I feel like these groups are about connecting to people and showing them the accountability and support side of what we do. And so I decided because of the crazy year that we had had with 2020 to do a COVID reset themed free group in August. And it was literally focused on self-care and it was a hit. So when I do a free group, excuse me, free group, I usually just do five days, but you know, it's team cup. So I decided to do seven days. And I would hop on in the morning and do a live like stretch or yoga video. And this is live, like me laughing at myself. I'm not a super trainer, but remember these people probably don't have bod. So I'm just giving them an option to start their day with yoga or a stretch. And then I would give them a five minute body weight exercise option. So if they felt like working out that day, they could repeat that five minute exercise however many times they wanted, 20, 30 minutes. Um, and there was so much excitement and involvement in this just kind of focus around self-care and starting the day with something a little bit more easy and relaxing because we've all been stressed. <laughs> and oh my gosh, this was the team. It, it wasn't specifically like the theme wasn't about Team Cup, but it was the tool that I used for Team Cup to engage with these people and build connections. And it was extremely successful. Like I had so many people from that group ask to join my team, which then results in success club points and results in team cup points. You know, listening to this again, um, the, the no pressure way that you do this is brilliant, you know, because you're not hard selling. You're not saying you have to get into BOD, you have to buy this, you have to do this. What you're doing is kind of a no pressure environment, which is just brilliant because then people are getting to know you. You said something about accountability and support is, uh, is the side of what, they see a side of what you do. So it's just great. I mean, listening to you say it again, um, it really helped me figure out that that is key. Um, okay, moving on to uh, the friendly competition about Team Cup and how it is a motivator. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I feel like the last like kind of special part of Team Cup for us was that we built like a healthy and supportive competition within our team. So we had a private message thread and then we had weekly calls where we'd talk about success club goals and how our invites were going. And we'd help each other with objections if we were speaking with people and they were concerned about gluten free or keto or something like that. And every time there was a new success point on the board, we'd post about it in the message thread and we'd celebrate each other. And if we hadn't heard from one of our team members in like a couple of days, then, you know, we would check on each other and see how we could help. And my team was just so positive and full of life. And my personally sponsored Emerald went diamond during Team Cup and I went one star. So it was just this magical month. And 
I think that friendly competition of Team Cup helps me be a better coach because it helps me support my downline and like connect with them, whether they're struggling or succeeding in their business. Yeah. And I think also when you are, you're going to be a Team Cup captain this time around for February, right? You have a, a, a team already put together. Um, I think what happens is that as a captain, you start to learn whether to lean in or lean out. So there are people on the team that are maybe newbies that need a lot more handholding and or you have people who know what they're doing and they're like, I got this. But it is great teaching, great learning for a coach um, to to learn the different needs and personalities of their teammates. So I love that. Love it. Love it. OK, so you did well in Team Cup last year in February. Then you went and you hit an August Team Cup, right? Was it August? Yep, yeah, that was the one. Yeah, that was the one. OK, so from August to the end of the year, you really uh, focused on activity. So can you talk about Team Cup and beyond? <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's the important part, right, is to use what you learn when you have success and duplicate it. So I feel like Team Cup set me up because I learned the power of the free group and the power of planting seeds consistently, because I will admit I was not the best at consistently planting seeds. So I knew the only way to have success in September, the way that I did in August and create excitement and conversations ahead of time is to plant the seeds and so I realized that when I feel a lull in my business, it's not because even though it feels like it might be, it's not because of the no's that I'm getting this week. It's because of the week that I took off last month and I slacked off on inviting. So the work that I do, I feel like the work that I do today is probably going to show up in a month or six months. And so consistently planting those seeds is key. And my goal for um the year was to be a one star and i hit two star and that means that not one but two of my coaches achieved like diamond status so team cup gave me the confidence to dream bigger for my business and my coaching activities and so i started inviting more i made free groups like a part of my monthly activities so every single month there is a free group and i play with the the subjects to kind of see what people are needing and then my posts started getting more traction. And it's really about, I feel like it's about the more that I do, the better I get at it. So like consistency builds into confidence and confidence for me translates further than any graphic than I'll ever post. So that's what's helped me. I love that. And, you know, just because I have to say that your success was based on your diligence, your effort and skill, which is another way of saying a funny disclaimer. What I really love about what you said, your work today will show up in about six months. Planting the seeds is the key. And the reverse is true. No work will show up too. So if you don't do anything, it doesn't you can't blame it on trends or back to school or something. If you didn't do it, it'll no. show up as well. So really good point on that. I um, love having you on this. I, it's been really fun working with you. I want to get to our last question because um, in the past, I was asking a different question. So today I'm asking you, what key factors played a role in your success as your first year as a coach? So go ahead. Well, um, <laughs> excuse me. I barely, to admit it, I barely knew how to use Instagram when I met my coach. And I also had no idea that she was going to be one of the most inspirational and influential people in my life. I didn't know that she was this magical unicorn who changed people's lives and <laughs> poured belief into them on a daily basis. I just so happened to land on Team Together Rising with Moira Kusaba, who you guys met on last week's call. And what she did was day one. She taught me the value of making personal development a non-negotiable. So within two weeks of starting, I wasn't even done with 21 Day Fix. I called her and I said, I feel different. Like, I feel brave enough to do things that I wouldn't have done last month. Or I feel like people might actually be inspired by me. And she said, 
that's the shift. You're experiencing the shift right now. And so it just became my goal to help other people experience that shift as well. And so one year after the shift in November of 2020, um, I am still doing this coaching thing. I am surrounded by this amazing, these amazing women in my upline. So we banded together and we set huge year end goals together. We linked arms to like kill these business objectives. And at this point I was a new one star. This is November. So I was a new one star and I committed to hitting and holding two star by December 30th. So because of qualifications, that meant that I had to hit two star in nine days, which was nuts. But six days later, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. So my whole world turned upside down and I questioned everything, <laughs> but I questioned my ability to hold this big goal that I had set for myself as two star. But Moira and Together Rising lifted me up and they kind of made me believe through the fear and the unknown and like countless doctor's appointments that I could hit this two star goal that I had set. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, and so they even had this private, we had, we had this private Zoom workout scheduled with Joel Freeman. And I got on and over a hundred coaches had surprised me by wearing pink and they dedicated the whole workout to me and my fight. So it was just a, a beautiful moment. Um, but because of coaching, I feel more equipped than ever to walk through this diagnosis and face the realities of treatment. And because of coaching, I decided to leave the corporate world that brought me no joy. And I no longer have to send my kids to daycare for 10 hours a day. And because of Team Cup, I was encouraged to level up my business, remove my self-limiting beliefs, and keep planting those seeds. I don't even know what to say. I, I When I first read your story on uh, the script that you sent me, I just could not believe the strength that you got um, from your team, from yourself, from coaching. Yeah. I wish you nothing but the best success for you this year and with your health. And I know how many people are rooting for you. That was such a beautiful gesture to show the camaraderie that a team, even if it's a team of four coaches, five coaches on Team Cup, or if it's a team of hundreds, they've got your back. Yeah. And um, thank you so much for being so vulnerable and sharing that information. I know that every time you talk about it, it just brings up so much emotion as it does yeah. for the audience. So thank you, thank you, thank you. No, thank you. This is so awesome. And um, that's the, the blessing of what we have as coaches is we have community and I'll never feel alone in this. So it is such a blessing in my life. Allison, thanks uh, for getting on today. I really appreciate it. Um, we are going to move on. Um, and thanks, everybody, for supporting um, Allison with great, great comments on Facebook. Um, that was an incredible story. And she's got great tips for um, building a team. Uh, now I'd like to bring on our CEO, Carl Deichler. Hello. Hi, Sandy. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Why don't you just go ahead um, and uh, take it away and then you yeah. can introduce Kevin. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so I appreciate everybody getting on the call and Allison, thank you so much for sharing your story and uh, inspiring us all to uh, remind us how important it is, this ecosystem that we work in uh, and what we can both bring to it uh, as, as human beings and what it can do for us and when when we need it the most and uh, i was reminded of that frankly all weekend i've i've had a fun i had a fun day yesterday and i'm still trying to get caught up today because i have this message thing this text thing that i'm doing and yesterday i put out a challenge to i got about three thousand coaches or so who have texted me and to be a part of that and i i challenged them to uh, take the sunday challenge and if they signed up somebody with a shakeology challenge pack that i would 
you know, it's a mass texting, what they call an SMS system. And so uh, I use that opportunity. I said, I'll personally congratulate you if you sell a challenge pack on Sunday. And I am still going through them. Literally hundreds of people uh, succeeded at signing up a new uh, customer or coach with a Shakeology Challenge Pack yesterday, so that's been fun, um, and uh, and I'm also uh, acknowledging and and uh, and rewarding people. Kind of, we're getting them in a contest if they sign up on a team cup. I'm giving away a copy of uh, I think it's 20 copies or so, maybe more of um, or, or 10 copies of uh, um, You Can Drop It. That's Alana's book and 10 copies of Lose Weight Like Crazy, even if you have a crazy life, Autumn's book. I'm signing the inside, throwing a little bonus in there because that's fun. And um, all you have to do is show me that you are the leader of a team, of a, of a Team Cup team, and text it to me. That number is 818-650-4369. That's 818-650-4369. And uh, you can also find that on my Instagram if you want it. But text me, Team Cup, and the name of your team. And, oh, they do this. It's so amazing what they do. We're like a real TV station. So, uh, and, and I'm picking two people a day. I've probably got another five days of doing that. So, um, another thing I wanted to mention, Autumn has a big announcement today. She'll be going on her Instagram live at 2 p.m. Pacific time. That's 5 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, she'll be going live on her Instagram, and then we'll... After that, then we'll put it on the other platform so nobody misses it. But we're going to let you in on um, something that is going to help everybody. If you're if you're getting the most out of the nine week control freak momentum, you are going to want to hear this announcement. Uh, it's something that we teased on the um, Super Weekend, and we were going to announce it then, but we couldn't. And now we're announcing it today. Autumn's going to announce it on her uh, Autumn Calibri's Instagram. But the but okay, so. Those are my little announcements. Uh, but the real reason I'm on here is to start to really pick up the pace of building Team Cup teams and specifically your inviting. Um, I want you to check out my Instagram stories maybe today, and you'll see a couple of stories of parents getting their kids into the act. And I was so inspired, and it just reminded me of the importance of what we do. You know, you hear Allison talk uh, about helping people um, sort of shake off COVID and take control back of their lives with her groups that she did around Team Cup last year and how successful that is. Well, we need to get more kids, more families, more spouses to uh, make these healthy habits actual habits, uh, to make it the normal, being active, being conscious of food choices, even self-care. You'll see there's a, a girl on the couch doing the controlled stretch and, um, and part of the unstress meditation series, the cutest little thing. So, uh, you know, we want our kids choosing supplements. I got my shake ready to go. We want them, uh, you know, drinking their daily sunshine. Hopefully it's, you know, if it's not in your market, can't help, but here in North America, daily sunshine is a thing that uh, I know um, I have my 12-year-old drink every day. And um, so we are actually, or I'm advocating that part of what we do in February is make it a focus on family health. And it happens to have F, focus on family health. So that has alliteration with February, so it must be the right thing to do. So Shakeology, the boosts, daily sunshine. Um, there's there's family and kids tips inside ultimate portion fix and to be mindset, uh, kid-friendly recipes, um, family-friendly meals in uh, the, the recipe plans. So let's make it an emphasis as we go into Team Cup Imagine all the people who are just sort of stuck, who are seeing their families not uh, achieve the health and well-being that they could be in a time when we need to be healthier and being take, take, taking care of ourselves even more vigilantly than normal. Um, and so here's my challenge to you. I want you to stay on for Kevin's BOD group training right after this and set up a group around February's focus on family health. Even if you've already got a group, set up a new one. And then, sorry, Sandy, but I'm going to suggest I want you to call 50 people and invite them to it in the next two hours. Imagine all the moms 
who might love this idea of committing to a new fitness program, maybe with their spouse or significant other, but just as important, commit to drinking their Shakeology, giving the kids daily sunshine uh, if it's in your market, and most important of all, how to use the Nutrition Plus um, subscription and to be mindset or ultimate portion fix to help the whole family eat better. Start a fo focus on family health bod group. Okay. And now look, I can't say call 50 people. You don't work for me and I don't pay you an hourly wage or a salary. So I can't tell you what to do because you're your own CEO. But if you did work for me, that's exactly what I'd assign to you because I know that's what would grow our business. It would help you get a raise. It would help you earn your bonus. So instead, maybe I'll say, all right, set up the bod group and make 10 calls in the next hour. Or maybe as your own CEO, you could choose to really go for it. Set up your Feb February focus on family health group and really invite 50 people, not just touch points. It's, it's good. I, I appreciate what Sandy and Allison were talking about is you do need to have these conversations, but I'm challenging you to lean in, have the courage and make 50 phone calls. You want to find yourself in an environment where you're competing with fewer people. I'll let you in on a secret. You take bigger action. You create bigger goals have higher expectations of yourself. How will that reduce competition? Because very few people have the guts to set really big, unreasonable goals. So you see how that works? When, when you set unreasonable, when you set reasonable goals to avoid disappointment or to avoid failure, you're competing with billions of people who are setting reasonable goals and don't want to be a failure, don't want to fail at something. But imagine the top 10 elite coaches. They set their goals high. And immediately, they were only competing with maybe 100 other coaches who had goals to be in the top 10. On the other consequence of setting a high goal, no matter what the outcome, if you take the action to achieve that high goal, your business is going to grow. There's no downside. You don't have to invest more money into the business just more action, more courage, more time. That's the investment here. More investment of time into your own business and you will be helping more people, more families get healthy. So that's my message today. I want you to stay on this call or whatever Kevin tells you to do. And then I think he stays on this call. Set up a bod group here in the next couple minutes and throw yourself into action. Yeah, it's a holiday. It's Martin Luther King Day, one of the most inspiring leaders and, and uh, speakers of our time. So much courage, so much focus, so empowering to help people see their potential and not accept anything that stands in their way or that's just not right. Well, I want you to have a dream. I want you to stand up for what's right. I want you to stand up for diversity and inclusion and to help people do great things and live their best lives. And I want you to live your best life. So let's take action. So now let's have Kevin come in here, help you set up that new bod group, get on a team cup team and set a big goal. Invite, yes, actually invite 50 people today. Not touch points, actual invitations, 50 people. So Kevin, you get them started with that group to invite to, and let's make this a reality. I'll leave it over to you. Thanks, Carl. And I will do that. Guys, welcome to my new background. This is my, <laughs> I've had to move to my desk because my computer was going to die. So you get the boring office background. Okay. Um, I didn't know this was coming. And so Carl, we're, we're going to pivot on this bod group. We're going to do exactly what you just asked us to do. So I'm going to share my screen Make sure you guys are aware of what's going on. So I'm going to make this large. Okay. Guys, bod groups is the most easy thing. And after listening to Allison talk about the importance of community, did you get the, the, the chills? Did you get the goosebumps? Uh, somebody last week said chicken skin. I don't know if I understand that one. But, but did you feel how important community is to the success of, of your business? I did. And guys, 
all we need to do, like what sets us apart from everyone else is that we hold people accountable. We hold people accountable to the things they want to do. Yeah, they're going to have this new stretch goal. You have this new stretch goal that Carl just assigned us and how thrilling and how I hope I honestly, I hope you guys feel the anxiety and I want you to lean into that anxiety. Bod groups does not need to be anything scary. It is simply a platform that you can use to help hold people accountable. So we're going. I'm going to show you exactly how you can um, form a uh, or create a bod group, and then yeah, we're going to invite 50 people to it today. So the first thing you need to do uh, is on go to BeachBodyOnDemand.com, guys. This is hopefully not news to you because this is where you go to uh, do your workouts every single day. Log into BeachBodyOnDemand.com. At the very top, you will see here, it says a little bod groups. Click on bod groups. And it'll take you to this page where you're like, okay, these are the groups you're currently in, but we're going to create a new group right now. So I'm going to click on new group, create and get started with it. And so what I'm going to do is uh, I don't want to use a past group, but if you want to, you can. For those of you who have run groups in the past, you can copy um, the same format, but for today's purpose, we're going to start a brand new group and we're going to select a theme. Now, as Carl mentioned, the theme that we're going to do is focus on family health. That's not one of the, the overall things. Now, if we do have all the programs in here that you can do it focused on, but for us right now, I'm going to just simply focus on fitness. The group is good. We need to pick a start date and an end date, the start date. And I'm going to pick February 1st. And I'm going to, you can make it an ongoing group if you would like, but for today's purposes and for the month of February, as Carl talked about, we're going to make this a, just a February group. So just February 1st through February 28th, we're going to make this an English group and people who can view my page. There's three different options. You can go through them if you'd like, but for today, I'm going to say, it's just people I'm going to invite. I want to make sure that the people that I invite are the ones that get into this group. And I do want Carl to come in to give us some uh, motivational posts as well as posts from our super trainers. So, so far not scary, right? So far pretty easy. Um, the name of this group is Focus on Family Health. Easy enough, I like that. And you can choose an image. Um, up here you can upload an image if you would like, or you can choose from any of these down here. You know, I like this one up here. This one has multiple people in it. I think I'm going to choose that one. Okay. Click next. If you would like, you can add an intro video. You can record it and upload it here. I don't have one. Uh, so we're going to simply describe our group. This month, we are going to focus on family health. Uh, and then you just whatever things you want to do to describe it. That's completely fine. Click next. Now, what should participants have to join your group? Um, you can leave this blank if you would like, but I want them to have Beachbody on demand. I want them pressing play every single day, and I would definitely want them drinking Shakeology. And I know last week when I did this, we had a lot of questions of, well, can only coaches or customers um, with ID numbers join your bot groups? Absolutely not. This is something you can send to anyone, but for them to get the most out of this, I want them to be drinking Shakeology every day. I want them pressing play every day. Yeah, we do have the 14 day free trial and they can get started with that. But overall, I do want them uh, signed up. So this is something that I want, I want them to be doing, okay? Click next. And here we have some awesome testimonials that I we can show that to kind of promote how awesome this is. Yesterday, last week I chose the first one, this week I'll choose the second one. Um, you can choose up to three testimonials on here. Click next. And you can now preview my group. So here it is, a focus on family health. It begins February 1st through the 28th, starts in 13 days. I want them to have Beach Biome Demand and Shakeology. It explains what a group is, and here are the, here's the success story I chose. As simple as that. Now, I'm going to publish my group, and notice I'm not, I don't have anxiety, I don't have fear, because this is something I'm excited to do. The group is created. Last week, I showed you how to just enter in their email address. But because I have 50 people that I'm going to invite, uh, I'm going to be sharing a link. So all I need to do is now copy this link. And as Carl mentioned, send it. 
Like, like we, the, it's awesome to have those touch points. And guys, I am more than anything you guys know, it's all about the relationships. It's all about building that trust. It's about making sure it's the right time. But, but for this purpose, guys, it is time to, as Carl said, like, like break free from the average goals that you set for yourself. This is an opportunity for you to prove to yourself that you can do hard things, that you can help people understand how important their health is to their well-being. They need to, they need to know that happiness and joy and excitement and feeling better is just on the other side of pressing play. And it starts with you and they will not understand that unless you invite them. So whatever thing is bottling you up from doing this, stop it. Get out of your comfort zone and invite those people. Send them this link and then guys, they'll get the email. All they have to do is click join and it's as simple as that. That is what we have. Um, that is, is honestly how easy it is. So I'm going to stop sharing the screen so I can look you guys in the eyes. Guys, do it. The excuses are gone. It is time for you to do this. It's time for you to set, set up a bot group, make the, the rest of January, as they said, to plant the seeds and then start in February and kick butt. Guys, have an awesome, awesome week. Cannot wait to see you next week on the National Wake Up Call.